Joshua, you're not nervous. <gasps> I'm super nervous. Are you really? Yeah, of course. It's all I can, I can exhale after this interview. <laughs> it's, it's power through. Like That's how I, I feel after watching this movie. Yeah? I mean, yeah, I was very nervous with this movie. Thank you for, for allowing me to hang out with you. My pleasure, man. Three years ago, you came to Singapore. Yes. And you did a Days of Future Past conference. Yes. And I just started off as a radio DJ. And I was just in the sea of journalists at the press con. And I was trying so hard to get a question in. And then at the end, you did this little thing with me. Uh, if you remember. You took That's me cool. backstage, yeah, and you pretended to beat me up, and we did a little stunt oh, for yes, everyone. That's right. That was so cool. It was on the front page of the of, of really the newspaper, yeah. So, so thank you so much. It is my that. pleasure, yeah, man. That was very, very cool. <laughs> How does it feel to be you right now? How does it feel to be Hugh Jackman right now? I, uh, I, I feel great. I'm happy. I'm relieved, man. Yeah. I got to tell you, Joshua, it's like. I put so much into this movie. Me and James Mangold were pretty stubborn about the movie we wanted to make, and mm -hmm. we feel we pulled off what we aimed to do. That's not easy to do in anything. Like, even as an artist, you may have in your head the painting you want to do, but often it doesn't come out the way you think, and yeah. the reaction has been pretty overwhelming, and I, I, I'm really satisfied and grateful, and I feel really good, and man, traveling around the world with, with a movie I'm really proud of, it's a good time. All right, so I'm, I've structured my questions a little differently as a little send-off to Logan. I like it. Uh, I'm going to begin every question with, when was the last time? Okay. Okay, when was the last time you watched back the first X-Men movie? Mmm. Is it on VHS? Yes. It's got to be got to be 12 years ago. No? You haven't? Maybe like it caught a bit on TV, but uh, the whole way through, maybe 16 years ago. Okay. Wow. When, when was the last time you wish you played a different X-Men character? Never. Maybe storm a little bit sometimes. I'll be honest with you, Joshua. Mm -hmm. This was the first movie I'd done. If they'd, I would have played any character if they'd offered it to me. But I knew when I had, I was like, I think I might have got the best character. Yeah. Don't tell anyone, but I think I might have. You know. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you had a nice home cooked meal? Like Friday a, night. Yeah, what was it? I got it. it was roast chicken. Yeah. Roast veg, gravy, peas. Can you cook? Sensational. I can, but my wife cooked that, which is even better. All right. When was the last time you felt, like in the movie, misunderstood by a kid? That's a really good question. Uh, I'm going to say a week ago. My son. I'm not going to tell you what, but yeah. <laughs> but kids always misunderstand. Always surprise you, huh? They think you... Sometimes they think you're being like... The thing kids don't understand mm -hmm. is that it's hard to say no to them sometimes. It's hard to give them a lesson. You want to just make it easier to take, you know, that's hard. When was the last time you were so happy you almost felt like you didn't deserve it? Hey, Joshua, these questions are good. Yeah? Yeah. Well, the movie is really heavy. You know, that was what I was left with after watching Logan. You've come a long way. I think there's a lot of times in my life where I've been really happy and I've thought, how the hell did this happen to me? And maybe as I get older, I start to take responsibility that it's not all just luck. That I mean, there is luck and you've got to be right place, right time. But on some level, the life we're all living is kind of what we ask for. The director I worked with, Ian Rickson, gave me a great piece of advice. And, I, and, I buy the, and uh, Michelle, who's sitting right over there, does the same thing. Write down at night the things you're grateful for in your life. It's a single best bit of advice I ever got about how to be happy in life. It's just constantly remind you, self, of the things you're grateful for. So you're happy? I'm a happy guy, yeah, right now. Okay. If you could Happy walk. Jack, a friend of happy mine calls Jack. me. When was the last time you felt physically threatened by Ryan Reynolds' good looks? <laughs> I had to throw one fun one in there. <laughs> Never. It's so good looking. You feel Never. You got this. No, because I just don't think like that way. But uh, no, okay. never. So everyone in Singapore, go and grab yourself some Kaya toast, in my honor, have a cup of coffee, and go and watch Logan. I'm very, very uh, proud of the movie. I hope you'll like it as much as I want you to like it. Because um, this is a love letter for the fans, and this is my way of saying thank you to you all. And thank you. That's it for me. Joshua. Thank you so much. Oh, Good to see you, man. How does it feel to be Patrick Stewart? Yes. Uh, I feel very lucky. 
Um, I feel gratified, especially for the inspirational help that a lot of people have given me over the years. I feel fortunate still to be healthy and to be working. Last year was the busiest year I've ever had. And um, to be in a position where I can travel the world and talk to people I've never met before and spend time in cities, although I have a feeling I'm going to see very little of this city. I haven't uh, actually left this building since we arrived 24 hours ago. So that's how it is. When was the last time you had, just like a character, a good home cooked meal? Me? Mm -hmm. um, my wife is an exceptional cook yeah. and a serious foodie. So I eat m magnificently all the time. Well, what's, what's, what's like a good dish that she does? She has a way of preparing fish yeah. wrapped in paper, which I think might be an Asian we have a what? chicken one, so it's herbal, we put a lot of herbs in there. Yeah, 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 we, she does the same with the fish. And um, she ties it, and it's very fast, and the fish cooks tenderly, and flavors of all the herbs, and so forth, so. Yeah. Have you tried making that? Me? Yeah, I mean, just herbs, fish, and put it in the oven. What a disaster food. that would be. I would set fire to the paper, and everything would burn. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you had eight hours of sleep? Last night? Yeah? Nine. Huh. I mean, there were a couple of interruptions during the night, naturally, because I'm very old. But, uh, um, yes, uh, I, I was tucked up in bed at about half past nine last night, while Hugh Jackman was out partying and <laughs> having a good time. He went to dinner, that's all I know. Yeah. Well, did you, when was the last time you went to, like, a club or a party? A club? Yeah, like you went full out. Um, well, I went to a very um, uh, upper class club in London several weeks ago. Mm -hmm. that, I am not a clubber. No? No. Never not. was? No, I had no teenage years. I was never a rebel. I never lived fast and hard. I just, um, I, I was... I was very serious as a yeah. child, yes. I'm thinking about having my teenage years now. Yes. Do you think that would do be it. a good idea? Do it. Because I'm already getting tired. Like, I don't club anymore. I get tired easily. Like, it's midnight, and that's when it really starts, the party really starts getting lit. But I'm really like, I'm, I want you're, McDonald's. You're, get, you're getting old. I feel that way. But you don't look as... You talk about rebellion, right? Like, I, I was thinking about, like, maybe, like, your whole career has come down to you being able to swear in an X-Men movie. Perhaps. But that must have felt really cool, because you felt you were so badass in that movie. Well, I simply was led there by the script and by our wonderful director, James Mangold. It was his idea that I should go, yeah, like you see, and now you saw it. You were there yeah. and you saw it happen. Um, it, it, it was an absolute delight to yeah. be taking a character who I've respected and loved for so long and Spinning him around, mm -hmm. making him unstable, unsettled, chaotic, confused, and very dangerous. Yeah, unpredictable. Unpredictable, exactly. You know, I'm going way off script right now, but like, how are your how are your family Sorry, members? Joshua. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Let me ask one more question because right. I've enjoyed this. All right. Um, the question I wanted to ask for the end would be: When was the last time you felt so happy you almost felt like you didn't deserve it? Because there's that moment in Logan, and I teared up, and I thought that was really powerful. And it wasn't it just Professor X, yeah. it was, I felt it was coming from you as well. I feel that at different times, every single day, I'm a very lucky man. I have a wonderful wife, two children, four grandchildren. Um, my career has been quite successful. Um, I can anticipate extreme old age with some confidence. I'm healthy. Um, if only the world would become a better place to live in, then uh, I can't think of anything that I would improve. I never get to see you again. I just want to say thank you. Joshua, you are terrific. All the great songs in one place. Kiss 92.